EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for December 7th, 2018, Pearl Harbor Day. will be mostly sunny across the region today. Uh, still cold, though, because we had a cold front move through yesterday with a little fanfare. Uh, but we'll have a mostly sunny day today, a mostly clear night as high pressure moves over top of the region. And we should have a lot of uh, scattered frost across the region as a result of that with the light winds expected overnight as well uh, as we move into saturday we're also expect, expecting another mostly sunny day and here's a look at saturday as high pressure is still in control of our weather and off towards southwest you can see uh, this uh, storm that has been the talk of the town for uh, for about a week now this is going to remain to the south now and there's no chance that it comes up into our region the only area that could have a a slight that has a slight chance of a fringe impact maybe the very southernmost point of delaware over to Cape May on the way out. Okay, so this is not, uh, but odds are it's uh, even there. It's it's not a it's a nothing to see here type of thing. Even if it does reach that high in latitude, a lot of a lot of uh, dry air it's running into, a lot of confluence. We talked about that in the previous videos of the reasons why this would not make it up to our latitude and give us a snow event as was modeled by some of the models uh, earlier in the week before they finally caught on the idea that this is going to be suppressed to the south. So that confluence is going to be over the region. We're not going to get into that too much in this video because it's already been explained. And of course, if you want to learn about that, uh, these videos are always archived on our YouTube channel. Uh, going forward into Sunday, this is where it's uh, Sunday afternoon and evening is when the storm is going to be at its, at its closest point. Pretty good snowstorm here for eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky, southern Virginia, uh, the Piedmont area of North Carolina, western Virginia. Areas uh, in there will get uh, probably the most snow out of this, uh, but all the way over to uh, places like Richmond and um, you know, even the, uh, the uh, northern part of Maryland is still not off the uh, out of the woods yet here with this. And I would say northernmost extent would probably get to about D.C. or maybe just south of there uh, for the just the fringe impacts. And again, impacts are not anything at all. There's nothing to see here or there either. Uh, but this system will continue off to the east. And uh, because of this, I think we're mostly sunny again for our northern areas on Sunday. Central areas may be partly cloudy and then partly to mostly cloudy in our southern areas with this system close by. And that's the only effects you're really going to see from this system as it continues off to the east. And then Monday is another partly cloudy day. Uh, temperatures are, uh, are going to be in the uh, 30s to near 40 uh, on Monday. 30s the next couple days. And then Monday, uh, we'll get close to the 40 degree mark here. And then we go right back into the cold, mostly sunny on Tuesday and mostly sunny here on Wednesday with high pressure and control. Once we get to Thursday, we'll go to partly cloudy skies, though. We have a system off to our west that may start coming in toward the end of next week or early next weekend. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Uh, right now, it's coming in a time where we're expecting warmer than average temperatures, uh, slightly warmer than average temperatures, nothing crazy, but we are expecting a uh, kind of a relaxation period when this comes in. So as of right now, I'm not, not looking at a winter storm threat, uh, but we will keep, keep that uh, monitor very closely. It doesn't look like a setup right here in advance of this that would uh, would indicate to me that we would have some uh, some wintry precipitation, but it is getting later in the month of in December, and these things are certainly possible. We have to keep a close eye on it this time of year, so we will certainly do that in the week ahead. Otherwise, very long dry stretch of, of weather that uh, we've had for a couple days now is going to continue straight through the seven-day period. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martridge. That is your outlook for December 7th, 2018. Have a great Friday.